Hello everyone! The intro by the way was not just for fun. Did you see the difference between these two cars? I will show them again opposite each other. Do you see the difference? On the car on the left the wheel started to slip, but at some point it stopped and then the car started to accelerate steadily. But the right car continued to slip at the same time. So what is the difference between them? Well, this is the topic of our video. Stabilization systems in modern cars. The history of stabilization systems dates back to 1959, when Daimler Benz started it. But the technology came into wide use only in 1995 on the Mercedes-Benz CL600. So what are the main tasks of the stabilization system and what types of stabilization systems exist? The common name of all stabilization systems is ESP, which means Electronic Stability Program. Then all other names are already varieties of these systems, specifically from the manufacturer. So what does ESP do? ESP controls the transfer dynamics of the car, helping the driver in critical situations, thereby preventing the car from skidding or slipping. In essence, the stabilization system maintains directional stability, trajectory and stabilizes the car during maneuvers, and especially at high speeds or on poor road surfaces when the tendency to skid or slip is much higher. Let's check it out and see how the electronic stability program works in practice. Let's take two identical cars, but on one of them I will remove all stabilization systems. So in the first test we will see how the car will drive around an unexpected obstacle on the road. The speed is high and I make exactly the same steering movements. The difference is not noticeable at all. I can only say that at this moment in a car without stabilization I had to make another steering wheel movement to the left, because I felt that the car could slide. Let's do one more test, but now the steering wheel movements will be more sharp. Now the difference is clearly noticeable. The car with the stabilization system drove much faster, but when it went into a small drift, stabilization system worked, certain actions were taken, for example the car braked several times, and thanks to these actions the car was able to drive on steadily. But in a car without stabilization it just flew into a skid and even I could not do anything about it. And now when we have seen the clear advantage of the stabilization system, Let's see how it affects on the acceleration of the car to 100 km per hour. And how the stabilization system works here? If the sensors report that one of the wheels has started to spin, it is blocked by the stabilization system. This reduces tire wear, but can increase acceleration time. In our test, as we can see, the difference is about 0.2 seconds. For sports cars, this will be quite significant, but for ordinary cars, a longer tire life will play a bigger role. Now let's go through the structure of the ESP. The structure of the ESP is primarily an electronic controller that constantly processes signals from the sensors. The signals come from the wheel speed sensors, a steering wheel position sensor and a brake pressure sensor. Depending on the readings, the stabilization system comes into play. However, the main information received by the control unit is signals from the two special sensors, the angular velocity relative to the vertical axis and the transverse acceleration sensor. If the amount of lateral slip on the vertical axis is greater than the permissible value at that time, the stabilization system immediately comes into play. The ESP constantly knows the engine speed driving speed, steering and wheel angle, and much more. Therefore, commands from the unit to the system's operating elements are sent at the same time instantly. In the event of any emergency, the system can return the car to its original position and direct it to its previous course by selectively braking one or more wheels. 
Depending on the situation, the system determines which of the wheels needs to be slowed down. But another stabilization system is responsible for the correct braking of the wheels, namely ABS. ABS is the most important stabilization system, because firstly it is responsible for correct braking of the car, and secondly without ABS there would be no other stabilization systems, because they work with the help of this system. So let's take a look at what ABS is and how it works. ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. I don't know where the L went, it's just that ABS is easier to pronounce. How ABS works? It's quite simple. Here again there are a bunch of sensors that collect data on the angular speed of the wheel, then send this data to the central unit, and then the central unit determines how hard and for how long to block the wheels. Simply speaking, without ABS, when we press on the brakes, the wheels are simply completely blocked. But ABS makes sure that the wheels are not just blocked, but constantly blocked and then unlocked, blocked and unlocked, and so until the car stops. This way the car avoids simply sliding forward when the wheels are locked, and brakes more steadily and efficiently. Let's take a look at this in practice. As we can see, the difference is very significant. Let's look at this experiment again, but now in slow motion. Here is a braking car with ABS. As we can see, the brake lights do not light up constantly, but light up and go out. This shows the anti-lock braking system is working. But here is a car without ABS. It just completely blocks the wheels and the car slides forward. Now let's talk about the importance of stabilization systems. To be honest, many people underestimate them. They are very very important and I think they have already saved a lot of lives. Shorter braking distance, better car controllability, this is all very important. Is it worth turning off the stabilization system? My answer is ABS never, but professional drivers sometimes turn off ESP. Because sometimes an experienced driver can leave a critical situation and the ESP system will only hinder him. But here you have to be a real professional, with more than 20 years of experience when you just start to feel the car you are driving. But my advice to you, don't risk it in vain, it's not worth it. Stabilization systems were created for a reason and they really work and do not interfere. So let's use them, take care of your own safety. Well, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If so, please like the video, because I have been working on this video for a long time. And you can also subscribe to the channel, because we still have a lot of interesting car experiments ahead. I also wanted to say that I conduct my experiments on the Fall Games public server, so if you want to play with me or just see how I do my test, feel free to join. If you need a tutorial on how to play BeamNG online or how to join the server, write in the comments and I will definitely make a tutorial for you. Once again, thanks for watching and see you soon.